Today I'm going to walk you through a full fermentation using the Big Mouth Bubbler, Northern Brewer's new fermenter with a wide mouth so big you can fit your arm through it. As with standard carboys, you have a choice of using glass or plastic. Before I do anything with the Big Mouth Bubbler, I'm going to put the harness on. Each Big Mouth Bubbler has a harness designed specifically for its unique shape and size. The glass Big Mouth Bubbler harnesses have a gray banding on them, while the plastic Big Mouth Bubbler harnesses have a blue banding. Just cross both bands over the top, make sure they're not twisted, and then you can use these straps to tighten them up so it's fit on there snugly. The harness makes the Big Mouth Bubbler a lot easier to hold on to, whether you're just picking it up, pouring, or cleaning it out. You can grab it from any angle. It's sturdy, and it'll hold up even when it's full of homebrew. So you can see I've got two and a half gallons of wort in my fermenter. I'm going to bring that volume up to five using cold water. With the graduated markings, now I can see the wort is up to five gallons. At this point, you can take a gravity reading and then pitch your yeast. And because of the wide mouth, you don't have to worry about it running down the sides of your fermenter. Screw the top on. It's very similar to the top of a mason or canning jar. Place the flat white disc over the mouth of the fermenter. There's a lip that makes placement easy. Then screw on the blue lid ring until it is very tight. This puts pressure between the white disc and the top rim of the fermenter to create a seal. Then I'll add the bung, which is a small universal stopper. Put the airlock on there. And we're good to start fermenting. To transfer into secondary, you don't have to take the lid off. You actually just have to remove the bung and airlock. Siphon fits right in the hole. And you start your transfer. I transferred the beer into secondary, and now for the last but not least step, I'm going to add a pound of Cascade Leaf Hops. Most of the really nasty stuff came off with a PBW soak, but I can get my arm in here and scrub off any leftovers and feel around the surface of the fermenter to make sure there isn't any stuff stuck on that I can't see. And to do the rinse, I'll just stick it under the faucet and swish it around to rinse it out. That literally took less than three minutes to clean that nasty big mouth bubbler out. There's no other fermenter that you can clean as easily or dry hop your beer as massively as with big mouth bubbler.